Last time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The Interlude. Suffer! Suffer, viewers! And now, the continuation. Unfortunately. Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV, The Interlude. Let's go through the sealed cave to figure out why all the monsters are back. Could be because you left the door wide open. Maybe you should have sealed it like the name says, but anyway, uh, the enemies are going to start getting harder here. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start editing out more battles and I have been in previous episodes. Turn down the battle speed just a little bit. And apparently all of our old friends are back! Like the trap doors! Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have the reflect spell yet, so I can't win this battle the easy way. The easy way. Yeah, yeah, you haven't learned it yet, so why don't you just stay on standby there, Poron? Try to get a good Zaga spell in, or something or other. Unfortunately, Rage does not cost them. Maybe I should have brought my, uh... What are those things? Uh, more Phoenix Downs with me, like I did the last time I came here. Oh, well. Not much we can do about that now. What did we do with all the crystals once we got them back in the last game? I mean, you didn't put the crystal back here, right? I mean, why not, I don't know, post some guards here, at least, or something in addition to sealing the cave. Just a thought. Quit whining, Lenny. The reason why Lenny likes the room where I record so much is it's the only window in the house that has a window that faces north. And apparently there's a lot of birds and squirrels outside the window. And bunnies. Big, fat, juicy bunnies. I think all the treasure is in the same place as before. Oh, they actually did post guards here. Okay, I forgot about that. Well, do the best I can. Let's clear out both these trap doors, at least. Okay, took care of both of those guys. And this time, the rooms are not quite as, uh, well, empty as they were before. See, I could give the power armlet to Sid, but... That wouldn't bring his strength over 64, so it's not really worth it right now. Maybe after gaining another level, it might be worth it. And a phoenix down! Alright! Looks like they learned we don't like having pointless, empty rooms in our dungeons. Alright! Well, at least we don't automatically go down those ropes like we did in the Super Nintendo version! That is one thing I do not miss from that version of the game. That is that much is certain. Let's see, for this battle, let's use Kuraga on everyone. I wonder if uh, the, the axe is considered projectile weapon. I don't think it is, even though he's like throwing it. You know, I think I can put Sid in the back row if I recall correctly, and he'll still deal full damage. I forget. Well, let me, uh, let me check the weapon. I think it says so in the description. And no reflect. Yeah. I suppose I could do with a little grinding, but, uh, nah. Doesn't say. I'm gonna assume it's not long range, even though it kind of looks like it is. Well, whatever. That's for that. And storm animas. Ooh, I hate these guys. Or these. Whatever. Let's use bio. The thing Palum still has a uh, quake there. You could use it. I wonder if the characters still learn the spells at the same levels as the original Final Fantasy IV. Well, anyway, just like before, there's six of these doors, so I'll just clear them off off-screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Cleared out all the the doors on this floor. Hey, yeah, that rhyme. That just sounds rather odd to me, clearing out all the doors. Maybe it's because of, uh, there's a band called The Doors, isn't there? Seems like a weird name for a band. Then again, what kind of a name is H.C. Bailey? I just kind of created the name for watching videos at the time for my account, and I made a video, and I just kept using the name H.C. Bailey. 
didn't re really think this was going to go anywhere. Just doing it for fun. And then, by the time I actually got remotely well-known enough to be worth having a real nickname on YouTube or whatever, everyone already knew me as H.C. Bailey, so it was like, well, what am I going to do? Change that? Let's put the power armlet on him now. Yeah, another attack multiplier. Hard to beat. How is Palum slower than you? You're old, dude. Quan still doesn't have Reflect, does she? No, she doesn't. What level did she learn that at, anyway? Oh, hey, there's another guy. Lally ho What's down here? Nothing! Yeah, you go down one of those that doesn't go anywhere, you just end up there. Or, you just end up climbing back up. Back up! Back up! This door for the save point, it doesn't have a trap door to stop you from getting in there. You just walk in there normally. So, it's always open, by the way. You don't have to... It's not like... It's not shut, making you think that there might be one there. Holy crap. You could use some more MP there. Pound. I almost said porn, but, uh... Now, they don't look that much alike. I find it kind of odd that, uh... Let me see P Palum there. Oh, okay. I was going to say something about Palum's hair, but, uh... Let's see. Yeah, I find it odd that Palum is the one who has the ponytail. I thought about going with a ponytail at one point in my life. I just decided... Uh, nah, not really good for, uh, the sales gig. Because I, I used to be a salesman. Yeah, I know it's a real shock to you viewers. And uh, apparently having a better set, head of hair was better for my sales. I'm serious. My sales went up 10% when I changed to this hairstyle. I used to have the uh, slick, my hair slicked back, like the uh, Pat Riley haircuts. Yeah, my friends kind of made fun of me for that back in the day. Well, they made fun of me for a lot of things, but that was another one. So, try to take out as much bait as I can. I like to pretend that I can be remotely normal so people won't have anything to make fun of me for, but now, now, you'll, you guys will always find something going on. I can't help myself. It's like trying to do the evil laugh. I, I can't be evil. I, I've tried. It just doesn't work. Oh, well. Can I warp out of this room? Uh, I could if I really wanted to. But, well, I can walk out all the same. Whoa. Oh, right. This isn't the Super Nintendo version. Just have those traumatic flashbacks. All right. Looks like we made it. What do you mean, just a bit farther to go? Are the monsters spawning outside of the crystal? Let's find out right now! Yeah, we got plenty of time. You know what, let's make a backup save file for this part, just in case. You never know. I could screw up the recording. The room seems a little larger than it was before. But maybe it's just me. Oh, right, there's no monsters here, so I can just... Run, run, or you'll be well done! One more trip. Door to go. Oh, what's going on? Not again! Uh, we didn't even take the crystal this time! Remember that for later, viewers. You gotta learn some white magic first there, pal. For boss time! No, nah, no, nah, but we do wanna get through. This one, I think, is technically a little harder than the first one, stat-wise. I don't know. Well, anyway, we only have four party members, so that doesn't help us either. Uh, maybe I should have used that spider silk. Too late now. Uh, just go with your level 3 elemental spells. It's the most powerful stuff you got, even more powerful than the, uh... Ow. Even more powerful than, uh, Quake. So, that's pretty nice for Palom there. Maybe get haste going on Palom, eventually. But I think I want to get double slow on the beam wall first. Yeah, I really should have used the spider soap, but oh well. That's okay. Let's see. Oh. Nah, I think we're good. Just 
let's go on that. The flame sword's doing pretty good. Too bad we didn't find more equipment in here, but oh well. Maybe we can get. I always found it amusing when the gradual petrify spell was just called uh, the D status in the game. Like it was something they. I don't know why was it called D. Was it like dummy? Like they thought they dummied out the status, but they didn't or something. I don't. Know. You got me on that one. I want to heal up Cecil or haste power. Do I even have haste? No, I don't. Okay, well, that makes my choice simple. By the way, for those who uh, forgot from the first game, because we only had it for, like, a tenth of a dungeon, the Gaia Hammer can be used to cast Quake on enemies. Not very strong, but better than a sharp stick in the eye. You could use it on, like, flan-type enemies, because I know there were uh, some around. I don't think it would have dealt enough damage to kill them. Usually, like, from the trap doors in this dungeon, sometimes they can spawn black flans if you don't kill them quickly enough. So, oh, I might want to uh, cure that by now. So, if, if that does happen, uh, the black flans, you should probably have Palom cast Bio, and that'll win the Save on the MP as much as you can. Yeah, too bad I don't have a case. Maybe I should have done some level grinding? Nah. I mean, I could have... I mean, it almost seems like they intend for you to do some level grinding here. Because of all the really expensive equipment and spells that would be really useful if you had them. But, uh... Nah, I don't really feel like it. Alright, got it. Yeah, I mean, the battle is relatively sure, so not especially worried about it. We can go for a little extra length on today's episode. Why not? Well, let's see what's going on here. Rydia! How'd she get here? What, didn't she come here uh, before? <laughs> you insolent fool! Didn't Rydia come here, or didn't this happen here before the, uh, what was that? The, the fame mark? Huh, that's weird. What's going on? Rydia, are, are you okay? I mean, all the women in this game aren't doing so well. Well, except for Porum, but, well, she's not a woman yet. So. Well, at least the crystal's okay. Sort of? Hmm. How does a dark crystal shed light? It doesn't have light. It's dark. Okay, well, what I want to do is... Can I warp out of here yet? Oh, whoa, holy crap. Let's, uh, change that around a little bit. There we go. Can I warp out of here? Not yet. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, just warp out of here back to the beginning because we can't teleport out of here, so... I'll just meet you back by the entrance then. Okay, we're back. What's going on? Is Golbez here? What do you mean? Who's calling? The who? No. No. Uh, well, she is a weird one. I mean, heck, she's got green hair. What did you expect? Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, okay. I guess there's nothing going on here. But what was Rydia doing back there? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The Interlude. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!